In this video, we're going to find zeros of polynomial functions with complex zeros. It says find all real and complex solutions to the equation x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24 equals 0. This is a cubic. So to find these solutions, what we're going to do is we're going to try to factor by grouping. But you can notice that if I take out x squared in the first two terms, I would get x minus 3. There's nothing I can take out of negative 10x plus 24 to end up with x minus 3. So factor by grouping is not going to work. So I'm going to go straight to the rational zeros test. The rational zeros test says that if I take p, which p is the ending constant, and I find the factors of p, which would be plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2, plus and minus 3, plus and minus 4, plus and minus 6, plus and minus 8, plus and minus uh, 12, plus and minus 24. If I take all those factors and I divide them by q, which q is the leading coefficient, which is just 1, so its factors which would just be plus and minus 1. If I take p divided by q, it will give me all the possible rational zeros uh, that I could get for this cubic. Now, there could be three of them because it's a cubic, or there could just be one and then two complex solutions. So I'm just going to say that p over q, if I divide all of these by one, Right, I would just have the, um, I would just have the p values. So I'm just going to say that this is the p values. P over q would just be the p values. And then I'm going to plug this equation in. So that'd be x cubed minus three x squared minus ten x plus 24. I'm going to plug in negative 1, store it as x. And I'm going to start checking to see if it's a 0. It's not. So 1, store as x. It's not a 0. Negative 2, store it as x. 2, store as x. And 2 is a 0. So I'm going to stop right there and say that one of my zeros is 2. Now I'm going to use synthetic division to find uh, the other factors. So I'm going to say that 2 is the 0 here. And remember the factor, if the 0 is 2, the factor for this would be x minus 2. right? Because ZPP would tell us to say x minus 2 equals 0. Add the two over, and you get two there. We're going to use the leading coefficients. So that's 1, negative 3, negative 10, 24. Bring the 1 down. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. You get 0. This is our remainder. This is the constant. This is the x value. This is the x squared value. So I end up with x squared minus x minus 12. That's going to be multiplied times this x minus 2 up here. And when you multiply those, you get the original cubic function. We're going to set that equal to 0 and use ZPP to find the other solutions. So if I use zero product property here, I get x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. I'm going to ignore this part. I already know the 0 there. Let's see if we can factor this. We could use minus 4 plus 3. So that would be x minus 4. x plus 3 equals 0. So if I say x minus 4 is equal to 0, or x plus 3 is equal to 0. So x equal 4, or x equal negative 3. So my zeros then are 2 negative 3 and 4 for my solutions. 
And I could have just kept going using the rational zeros test and came up with those, but had those been complex numbers, I would have tested all those numbers and never found them.